Hey guys, um, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Uh, this is going to be a look at my Brahms and uh, Bob Panic uh, traffic lights. These I've both purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, one of these, this one up here was $100, um, wasn't wired up. Uh, to anything external or anything, uh, and this one was $250, however, it was already set up with a uh, sequencer and um, was already like programmed to run a specific uh, sequence uh, based off of a uh, intersection in Melbourne. So this one, obviously, as you might be able to tell, is incandescent. It's not exactly easy to tell, so I'm not going to blame anyone if they can't. Um, but we'll take a look inside of that. And this one up here is LED. So uh, this is one of the newer style of lights in Melbourne. Uh, uses these strip lenses, I think, to uh, minimize the LEDs down to just one uh, and spread the light over the full eight inch lens. So <laughs> I'm not gonna mention all the fingerprints. Uh, that it took to get this traffic light up on this pole here, um, which has a Western Cullen Hayes 2149A signal base uh, and a PVC pipe for a pole. So a little bit closer up to this traffic light here. Uh, this, as I said before, is a Bob Panich traffic light. You can see down here, uh, if the camera wants to focus, that's the Bob Panich lo uh, logo. This has three straighter headlights and three arrows. Uh, you can't really tell it from here, but there is um, arrow like lenses there. You can probably actually see that one there. I'm pulling on these two little tabs here. Sorry about the light, it's not the greatest. But uh, you can open this. Now you can see the arrow lens there. And here's the light. It's just a uh, little globe uh, and a massive mirror which uh, makes a lot of heat and I can f lift two little flaps down it's kind of hard to do with one hand but that's all I've got um, and this just opens into the back of the light here so as far as I know uh, this coil back here is something to do with it being incandescent However, I don't know what it actually does. It's, like I said before, um, beyond my knowledge. But uh, there's a bunch of wiring here. And obviously this is all um, in connecting this to all three lights for the arrows. Um, so I'm not going to go through what all the little wires are because I have, frankly, no idea as this was all pre-wired um, before I got it. But and from there it's pretty much exactly the same for all three um, arrows and these two lights here uh, which is obviously the green and the yellow for straight ahead um, however in the red light it's slightly different so uh, pull on these tabs again and I'm going to use my knee but pull this out from here that's just my normal normal red lens and you can see this one doesn't have um, the arrow lens obviously, however it is very dusty, probably actually can't see that on my hands, but pull on the tubs again, just pull this light forward, and in here is a uh, Gallic Electronics 6 port um, sequencer. Uh, this was obviously pre-installed, as I said before, this is all pre-wired other than these horrible wiring here um, to connect to the Brahms light. Um, but this is basically fully programmable um, with these two buttons here. I'm not going to go through how to do it. Um, there's a link to the website in the, in the description. I'll link this as well um, and I'll link a uh, normal three light uh, timer there, but obviously navigate through the website, it's nice and easy, you can see all their timers that they have there. But yeah, so it's got eight ports on the bottom here, um, the one on the left for both of these is the uh, negative, or the black, that's really all you can call it, and then um, red, yellow, green, this is for the arrows, and red, yellow, green for um, the straight aheads, and obviously 240 volt AC coming in on this one on the top here. So yes, this all runs off. 240 volt. But other than that, 
not much else to say. I haven't got the greatest wiring back out into um, the real world for the Brahms light. Uh, however, I hope to make it a bit better in the future. Um, and obviously safer as it's not exactly 12 volt and it's not something that I want to go wrong. Um, so that's a look at the inside of the Bob Punch light. Uh, and now let's have a look at this uh, Brahms light. I would show you the back, however, with all the wires, uh, it's kind of a bit hard because uh, I don't want to move things around and end up unplugging things. But this is the Brahms logo, as you can see here. It's on all three of the lights as well as on the back. Uh, I quite like how reflective these lenses are. You can actually see uh, my crossing signal in the reflection. Um, and on the back here, uh, there's also the Brahms logo on all three lights. Uh, I'll put a picture of that up just here. On the top is obviously the attachments and on the bottom as well. And my crappy wiring. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a look at the outside of it. Um, and obviously the lenses. And then this one is the tabs that you push down as well. However, these are a lot harder to push and uh, they're on the top and the bottom. So yeah, so that's how you open it. And then these have a uh, believe it's pronounced uh, Future LED uh, 3-Rs. These are made in Austria by Swarco Futurit. And obviously here is the Brahms info uh, with what the module is. And here is a little bit more info on it. You can see uh, 230 volt AC on the left there. Um, the dim modes uh, and a little bit of wattage info. Pff, I don't really know anything else there, to be honest. Uh, this is the same for the other two lights. Uh, these are just literally a plug um, to unplug. So if they wanted to switch them out, if this one died, um, then they could just replace it uh, by just unplugging this one and plugging a new light in. <laughs> As you can see, that's how they, they lock in. It's just a little... Uh, plug, sorry about the quality right now, the lighting's not the greatest, um, but let's have a look inside the red light because that's slightly different. Alright, and here is the inside of the red light. Uh, this is the main uh, junction box. Uh, the orange cable coming in from the back is the one that goes on the outside, um, and it comes in with four, four wires. Uh, top one is uh, literally labelled one, you might be able to see that there then followed by two three those are all positives and the fourth one is negative uh, and you can see it spreads to the bottom three ports of that uh, white junction board thingo um, and on the right side of it is the cables going out to the three lights um, brown is positive blue is negative that's just how it's been wired up so that's how i've left it that's obviously the tail of the uh, red module All right, so now that we've had a look at both lights, um, let's have a look at all of these operating So it's not the greatest view, but it's all I'm going to be able to do uh, Based on where this is currently plugged in. Um, this is all going straight to mains power um, So I have to run it across my bedroom as this is where this is all set up uh, So let's give it power So as per the sequence, they all start off on red, as you can see here, and then the straight heads go green. Anyway, so this is what the lenses look like. Um, this is all, as said before, off of one um, LED, and that's what those look like. Obviously, this is incandescent, so this is a bulb um, in the middle reflecting off a mirror um, onto the lens and obviously out through the front. Now you can see the red lens here for the bronze light. Of course it goes green just as I'm looking at it and um, obviously this is off now but 
here's a closer look at the green on the Bob Panish light. I quite like how these lenses have a cross pattern um, on the on plastic. Uh, you can sort of actually see it when they're off as well, um, but this is going to go yellow right there and then into red, which is both red lights. The arrows have the same uh, formation. So I'm just going to set the camera up and give a couple of different viewpoints uh, so you can see all these operating. These will most likely be in portrait as uh, I want to get both lights in shot for some of these. So put two side by side as you'll see anyway.